beginning, there was craft work. Craft work are one of the most influential bands ever. It's impossible to find a music hack that doesn't love this band. Though it's noticeable that the proper fanatics are almost always men. You know how spotty some blokes get about Star Wars? Craftwork are the Star Wars of pop. Their obsession is fueled by the enigma of Craftwork. No other band shuns publicity with such dedication. The last time they did a photo shoot as humans was in 1978. These days, Kraftwerk prefer to let their robots do the talking. I learn this when I go to meet the last remaining original member of the group. I'm expecting 62-year-old Ralph Hutter, but I get his robot self. Hello, Mr Ralph Bot. It's very nice to meet you. Shake hands. It's a bit scary. <laughs> Which is the real craft work, you or the humans? And what do you do when the humans are playing? The robots are resting in their transport flight cases. You go to sleep. He's clearly not a robot of many words, but I persevered. Craft work once said, as a joke, that they'll keep the humans at home and set the robots out on tour. Do you think that's actually going to happen? This concept is made a reality during the performance of the robots on stage during the concert. Thanks for that. I don't know why I expected him to be more chatty. He's not only a robot, he's a German robot. Is Kraftwerk specifically a German band or a band without nationality? Kraftwerk is a European band with German passports and we are touring the world. When you grew up, the shadow of the Cold War, the tensions of, between East and West must have been a very difficult environment to grow up in. What did music give you a chance to achieve? We created music from a zero situation. As we seem to be in a close to zero situation with this interview, I'll give you my take. For me, Kraftwerk took pop music apart like a child's toy put it back together again, all wonky, and catapulted it into the future. Obviously, they influenced 80s electro-pop, listened to Depeche Mode and Gary Newman, but you can also hear them in house, indie, folk, and they helped to invent hip-hop. Trans Europe Express is sampled on Africa Bombata's Planet Rock, the first ever hip-hop record. For years, Kraftwerk have been waiting for technology to catch up with their ideas. Has this finally happened? Technik durch Vorsprung. Think first. The literal translation is technology through advancement. Even though this Ralph bot is hardly a transformer, Kraftwerk have always reveled in technology, found its human side. What's the last piece of music that really inspired you? I'm always inspired by total silence and noise. And then I compose music. Kraftwerk's noise is inspired by modern life, particularly travel. Surprisingly, for a bot with no legs, the Ralph bot is a massive cycling fan. This is Team Great Britain, Olympic gold medals. Are you inspired by the monotony of travel or its surprises? Travel and monotony are a great inspiration for music, like Autobahn, Trans Europe Express. <laughs> So it's no coincidence that Kraftwerk are performing this gig at the Manchester Velodrome. The urban myth is that Ralph used to get the tour bus to drop him off 100 miles before the venue so he could cycle the rest of the way. And apart from the model, Kraftwerk's biggest hit single is Tour de France. But are these Olympic medalists nervous about working with the legend that is Kraftwerk? Not the, the normal environment we normally ride in, but no, it should be good fun. Yeah, with the live 
live band and stuff and obviously drunk people in the crowd with beer and <laughs> could get interesting. But, could have made yeah. it a training session, it would have been a lot more fun. <laughs> Will you be taking a cycle ride around the velodrome before it opens? You look like your legs need the work. We can't do this. We have to do the sound check. Run along then, Ralph Bott. That really was one of the strangest interviews I've ever done. Kraftwerk are known for their technological brilliance, but the Ralph Bott is hardly high tech. Maybe next time someone can get its lips to move. Still, it doesn't stop me loving Kraftwerk and admiring their musical quest to find the soul in technology, the human in the machine. <laughs>